I, I tried to teach from one in particular, that is to make each day your masterpiece. I tried to do that as far as teaching, whether I was teaching English classes or whether I was teaching uh, basketball, baseball, tennis, or whatever ever sport that I was uh, uh, teaching. Make each day your masterpiece. Yesterday's gone. Uh, you can do nothing about it. It'll never change. Uh, tomorrow is yet to be. And the only effect you can have on tomorrow is what you do today. Today is the only day that really counts. So make each day your masterpiece. Don't expect great improvement. Just a little improvement each day, but a little each day soon adds up to quite a bit. When you uh, look back on a career like yours and you think of the rewards for this profession and, and, and what it's been like for you, where do you start? I start at home from my mother and dad who tried to uh, teach me and my brothers to never try to be better than somebody else but never cease trying to be the best you could be. And, they had reading scriptures to us every night and, uh, and poetry. One of my granddaughters and, and her husband had uh, one of my great grandsons, they were out eating in a, in a Chinese restaurant and he opened a Chinese cookie which they gave and it said, uh, be quick but don't hurry. And he said, is this where Papa gets all these sayings on the fortune cookies? <laughs> <laughs> what are some of those things you'd like people to say and remember about you? I think more than anything else, I'd like to be just considered as one who is considered of others. I think that would be, be, be enough. I'd just like to be, be known that way. You know, speaking about epitaphs, though, uh, when you go in uh, cemeteries and you'll find some extraordinary epitaphs. You know, there was one, uh, one read, um, as you are now, so once was I. As I am now, you are sure to be. So may I say, as here I lie, prepare yourself to follow me. And somebody had scratched under that. To follow you, I'm not content until I know which way you went. Make friendship a fine art. Work at making friends. Don't take it for granted. It's like marriage. Don't take it for granted. Friendship is two-sided. It isn't friendship when someone's doing something nice for you. That's a nice person. It's friendship when you do for each other. Then was drink deeply from good books, especially the Bible. And there's a lot of good books out there, a lot of trash too. But uh, you should be reading the good one uh, somewhat every day. I don't know, and show, showing David Thompson, why would you have to show the UCLA game? Why don't you, why don't you pick some other game to show about him? I didn't, I didn't think that was necessary. Uh, and then uh, I know Mark, and thought a lot of Mark, he's another Hoosier. But I'll tell you, Mark, on that, uh, there was excerpts when we were playing that behind the back and between the legs wouldn't have gone. <laughs> uh, no, no, you wouldn't have gone. And I'd like to mention one other thing about Tubby. Um, when they won the championship in Kentucky a few years ago, I was seated right uh, next to his wife and children along the line. And she introduced herself to me, I was sitting on the end. And the Kentucky bench was right in front of us after the championship. And I had visited with uh, Mrs. Smith. And uh, when they won the championship, she came by trying to get down the floor. And I said, uh, congratulations. And she grabbed me, gave me a big kiss. So, Tubby, I got it before you did. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The thing over which you have control is the, le the, le the most important, and that is never cease trying to be the best you can be. And don't whine, don't complain, don't make excuses, just make the effort to do the best, uh, uh, best you can be at whatever you're doing. And know that, that the, your greatest joy will be involved in things that are difficult and the ability when you uh, are defeated in a sense uh, or knocked down that you're up and at them again and uh, learn from things of that sort. Unless you have peace with yourself, I don't care what the, uh, the uh, score might be and how many material possessions you've had. True happiness comes from things that cannot be taken away from you. All material things get away in one way or another, some faster than others, but eventually they, they, uh, they all get away. Help others. And that's the greatest. Is there any greater joy than be able to help another? Uh, and there's so many, so many things that uh, bring bring that about. Uh.
to make the morning complete here, can you just tell me about Bill and the and the beard? Well, there's a lot more stories I could tell you about Bill Walton. <laughs> he calls. Anybody mind missing the first half of the first game today? Okay. Uh, he called me many times when he was in Australia for the uh, Olympics. I had 20 some odd tell- calls from him. I talked to his mother while he was over there and mentioned uh, somehow that how he had overcome the speech impediment that he had while he was in school. And she said he worked hard at it. He, he uh, took uh, speech therapy. He studied uh, newscasters and sportscasters tape and said they really taught him how to speak. They forgot to teach him how to stop, but they did teach him how to speak. <laughs> <laughs> and we, people ask if I talk to him, I say, oh, no, I listen. <laughs> but when he was in school at one time, he told me he didn't have any right uh, to, I didn't have any right to tell him how to wear his hair, whether or not he could wear whiskers or so. And I said, no, Bill, I, I don't have that right. I just have the right to determine who's going to play and we're going to miss you. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, he is, uh, he's often asked uh, if I meant it, and he said, well, I got fixed up. <laughs> so apparently he felt I did. I've tried to tell my players, character is so more important than reputation because character is what you are, and you're the only one that really knows. And I, I mean, without, without character, I don't, I, don't, they, I don't see how they can have much peace with themselves. And, uh, and if you don't have peace with yourself, I don't think you have, uh, have much of anything. Reputation is what you perceive to be, and that can be good or bad. But the character, you're the only one that really knows that, regardless of what others might think. You're, the individual himself is the only one that truly knows the character. Mr. Lincoln, my favorite American, said, if we magnified our blessings the way we magnify our disappointments, we'd all be much happier. We don't tend to do that. We tend to tend to complain about the things we don't have and don't show real, appreci- real appreciation. My dad also gave me two sets of uh, threes. One was don't whine, don't complain, don't make excuses, just do the best you can. And the other was don't lie, don't cheat, don't steal. I was asked to write something for an elderly group that I was speaking to and, and I put down some lines that went, uh, the years have left their imprint on my hands and on my face. Erect no longer is my walk and slower is my pace, but there is no fear within my heart because I'm growing old. I only wish I had more time to better serve my Lord. When I've gone to him in prayer, he's brought me inner peace, and soon my cares and troubles and other worries cease. He's helped me in so many ways, he's never let me down. Why should I fear the future when soon I could be near his crown? Though I know down here my time is short, there is endless time up there and he will forgive and keep me ever in his loving care. This crowd on earth, they soon forget the heroes of the past. They cheer like mad until you fall, and that's how long you last. But God, he never does forget, and in his hall of fame, by just believing in his son, inscribed, you'll find your name. I tell you, friends, I would not trade my name, however small, inscribed up there beyond the stars in that celestial hall, for any famous name on earth or glory that they share. I'd rather be an unknown here and have my name up there.